unique glove which helps stroke patients regain the use of a partially paralyzed hand. Research shows it's highly effective even for patients who were told their chances for improvement were virtually non-existent. And it's available now at the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre, as Catherine DeCosta explains. I was just doing some DIY in my house and I just collapsed in, in, on the floor. And I had to crawl to the telephone to, to dial 999. I guessed I was having a stroke because I couldn't move anything on my left side, I couldn't move my left arm or left leg. At 45, Gavin Hageman from Whitney is having to undergo intensive physiotherapy after a stroke five months ago left him paralysed down one side of his body. I can't hold a knife and fork, I can't do up buttons, I can't do up zips. I have to wear trousers with a, a pull string on the front because I can't do up you know, tie a bow or anything dexterous I can't do. Gavin is one of only 10 people receiving Saboflex therapy at the Nuffield. It's a type of glove which helps patients regain some of their muscle tone and coordination. It's a, a splint which has been specifically geared to help patients who have uh, tightness in their muscles as a result of neurological damage to release their hand so that they can use the hand in more functional tasks. The springs help to open the fingers and by doing that the muscles then send a message back to the brain to say that the fingers have opened and that's helping to build the pathway so that I can then do it without the Saboflex. Before the stroke Gavin worked as a wildlife officer for the charity Bee Belt. He's determined to get back to his old way of life. I'm one of these people that's lucky to have a job that I really loved and I want to get back to it. I want to get back to cooking and working on my allotment and and other things that I like doing, like photography. The hope is that if the treatment is shown to be successful, many more stroke and brain injury patients could be given a helping hand. Catherine DeCosta, BBC Oxford News. In football, it's now three games.